We have seen how to use integer variables to store and keep track of numbers. Another very popular type of variable in Java is the string variable. A string variable is used to store names, words or even whole sentences. Basically anything that is made up of characters. In Java, a character is a single alphabet letter or digit or even a symbol like a dollar sign or a hash or an at, pretty much anything that you can use when you are creating a password for example. So if you want to store a phrase or a word that is made up of those characters, you should use a string variable. That's where the name string came from, being like a string connecting bunch of characters like this. Let's say we wanted to store the bus driver's name in a variable. We first need to decrell that string variable and give it a name just like we did with declaring integers. We start by typing in the variable type which in this case is a string and then the variable name which is something that we can come up with. In this case I'll call it driver. This declaration statement is like as we have created this empty box and can store a string inside. But remember it can only store strings from now on not integers not anything else but just strings. So the next thing we need to do is to initialize it. Notice that I have surrounded this string here with quotation marks. Remember when I used them earlier with the print line? This basically means we are referring to the word Randy literally, not a variable called Randy. And that's why it is called a string literal. This initialization fills our box with the word Randy. Notice that if I didn't put the quotation marks here, the computer would think that this is a variable called Randy and it would try to find it and go crazy when it couldn't find it. But now since we have this new variable driver and it has the word Randy in it, there's actually a lot Java can do. String variables are really cool variables. It can count the number of letters in a string. It can change the string to all capital letters and it can do a lot more than we are going to see later on. Let's start by programming the computer to count the letters in the string. For that we can use the length command that's written as length and then empty parenthesis here. This instruction here would count the number of letters inside the variable driver not the word driver itself but whatever is stored inside that variable but we need to store that number in a variable since letter counts are just natural numbers we can use an integer for that. Now that we have stored the number of letters in the word inside their variable letters let's print out the variable letters and see what it displays. If we run the program and print out it would be 5 which is exactly the number of characters inside the string here. Perfect. Let's see if we wanted to change something in the string like update every character to become a capital letter. For that we can use the command to uppercase. Again it's just a string variable dot this operation to uppercase followed by empty parenthesis. But we need to store that into our variable driver. So basically we are telling our computer program to update the variable driver to be equal to whatever the old driver variable was but uppercasing every single letter. So let's print out our variable driver to see what happened to it. Once we run this program, this is the output that we get. It's exactly the same string but every letter is now capital letter. Thanks to this command to uppercase. There's another one called to lowercase which is obviously the opposite and there's more. We'll learn a lot more about strings and what we can do with them later on in this course. Let's have a look at another cool thing we can do with strings called concatenation.